Ooh. All right, we had a murder in Love Park. Delaware County man shot and killed right there at 15th and JFK. And um, I tweeted this news out and someone said, well, aren't there officers in that area? And yes, yeah. this happened just feet away from an officer. So Steve Healy is live near there giving us the details. Yeah, so 12 hours ago, now after 8 a.m., this happens just after 8 p.m. And there's a cop here because this road's being rebuilt at night. And you can see why it's not being rebuilt in the day because there's so much traffic here in morning rush hour. Uh, so the officer from the 6th District, uh, even though this is the 9th, I don't want to get too detailed here, but he's working overtime and, uh, and doing some traffic detail. And Love Park, you see the crews setting up Love Park. And we're right across the street from Philadelphia City Hall where more crews are setting up uh, the Winter Garden where the mayor and everybody else in the city hopes families will come and ice skate and shop. Same goes for the Christmas Village being set up, which always opens on Thanksgiving. And so that's why maybe a young man probably felt safe walking around here last night. There's so much activity going on, a whole lot of people in prime time, police nearby, security guards all around the Christmas Village Love Park area to guard everything uh, being done there and set up there. And for whatever reason, a guy with a gun who also happens to have a Jeep shoots this young man right at the corner here, right under the Love Park banner where you see the Philadelphia Marathon banner next to it, fires at least two shots, hits him in the face, the neck, and into the chest. Maybe a bullet went through him. And that is how the guy dies, where you now see chalk outlines as kids step over that walking to school. Here's video of the scene last night. Another rarity, you don't see Love Park draped in yellow crime scene tape. Uh, but that was the scene here last night as police then saw something very distinctive is this officer hears the gunshots, races over and says, hey, that's the guy I saw walking around here the last couple of hours, neatly dressed, hair neatly combed in a ponytail, cuff pants, nice shoes, very well dressed. And he sees him bleeding to death and dying on the ground. They rush him to the hospital while they also see this guy with a gun get into a Jeep with a very distinctive look about it. And here's the inspector talking about that. It appears that the shooter or shooters were standing very close to this victim when the two shots were fired because the ballistic evidence is just a few feet from where the victim collapsed. We're being told by witnesses that it was a male wearing all dark clothing who then got into a dark or gray Jeep. And that Jeep was last seen traveling west on JFK towards 16th. However, there's a unique description of that Jeep. We're being told it has green wheels, green lights possibly coming from the front, and green trim or a green front bumper. So there's a lot of green to this vehicle, which is unusual. When police put out the flash about that vehicle, uh, nobody spots it immediately, but an officer in South Philly working in the 17th district there remembers seeing that exact vehicle with those lights, those green rims, the green stripes the night before. So. They're focusing their search there in South Philadelphia. So here we are back at City Hall. You can see them setting up that very lit Christmas tree. That's the different tree than the one they bring in freshly cut. But that's right outside the mayor's office. Everybody's starting to get into the holiday spirit around here. But boy, uh, a murder right over here kills any kind of nice spirits here as we enter the holiday season. You're like, where else can things happen so awful again? Because we've seen gun violence hit every section of the city every corner of the city and now uh, a corner right across from City Hall. Yeah, just uh, front and south the other night. All right, Steve. Uh